We were given matrix A and asked to find A transpose times A. Notice matrix A is a three by two matrix because it has three rows and two columns. We begin by determining A transpose. To determine A transpose, we can either write the rows of A as the columns of A transpose, or we can write the columns of A as the rows of A transpose. And since matrix A is a three by two matrix, a transpose is going to be a two by three matrix. A transpose will have two rows and three columns. Let's find a transpose by writing the columns of matrix A as the rows of a transpose. Notice the elements in column one of matrix A are six, negative two, one, which become the elements in row one of a transpose. Notice column two of matrix A contains the elements negative one, four, three, which become the elements of row two in A transpose. And now that we have A transpose, we can determine A transpose times A. Remember, matrix multiplication is not commutative, meaning the order matters. So we begin with A transpose, which is a two by three matrix. And we multiply by matrix A, which is a three by two matrix. First, we need to make sure the multiplication is possible. A transpose is a two by three matrix, and A is a three by two matrix. In order for the multiplication to be possible, the number of columns in the first matrix must equal the number of rows in the second matrix, which we do have, and therefore we can multiply. And then the number of rows in the first matrix and the number of columns in the second matrix indicate the dimensions of the product, which means the product is a two by two matrix. Let's begin by determining the element in row one, column one of the product. To do this, we multiply row one in the first matrix and column one of the second matrix. So the element in row one, column one of the product identified by a sub one comma one is equal to six times six plus negative two times negative two plus one times one, which gives us 36 plus four plus one, which is 41. And now to determine the element in row one, column two. To do this, we multiply row one from the first matrix and column two of the second matrix. So notice how the position of the element in the product indicates which row we use in the first matrix and which column we use in the second matrix. A sub one comma two is equal to six times negative one plus negative two times four plus one times three, which gives us negative six plus negative eight, which is negative 14 plus three, which is negative 11. And now to determine the element in row two, column one, which means we now multiply row two of the first matrix and column one of the second matrix. A sub two comma one is equal to negative one times six plus four times negative two plus three times one. We have negative six plus negative eight, that's negative 14 plus three, which is negative 11. Now let's find the last element, which is in row two, column two. So now we multiply row two in the first matrix and column two of the second matrix. The element A sub two comma two is equal to negative one times negative one plus four times four plus three times three, which gives us positive one plus 16, which is 17, plus nine, which is 26. And now we have the product of A transpose and A. I hope you found this helpful.